Hello everyone. I will start with show briefly my ship build on Brigantine, followed by last moments of docking on wager event with the helm chest, double my coins to 35,000 of pieces of eight. Right after the fight, I will point out all the tricks and strategies I do to fight in Helm Wager against this bad system that disadvantages a solo player like myself. Today, I will work on some full guides for the end game and post it soon on my channel as I have unlocked all gear and ships in the game and gone through all sorts of testing to be able to make proper end game guides. Now, the good thing about the event is that with just a few upgrades investment, you can basically one versus one anyone and safe double and collect your coins. Because once you reach the destination, you have a short timer that automatically safely dock with your coins. These people do the wrong thing. They fast travel to your final destination. If you are ready, they don't have time to do crap to you. Not to say this guy I met, I would have killed easy anyway. So, the idea of Event Helm Wager to double your coins but only you can lose something makes it so that you are the only one risking. Anyone can freely join against you, even a group pre-made. You have to be ready and have the best strategy to avoid being ganked by groups. So for that, take as soon as possible this upgrade on Empire Overview Board at the Smuggler Skills Upgrade till level 10 to reduce the timer need to safely dock you if stay in green zone. Sure, if you have friends to protect you, can apply my strategy and will be impossible to lose even if others group on you. I will show further all my strategy and upgrades made. My best spot to pick up the helm wager double or nothing and all consumable I use in order to get me an advantage in any situation. Very important, you can only activate the wager double or nothing once a day, you can refuse how many times you want before. I have seen players make this mistake, take the wager and collect coins after, do not do this. You are at huge risk if take the wager before collect all coins. Refuse any wager till you collect all your coins from factories and only then trigger the wager on your comfortable spot or zone. I will show my most comfortable spot that will always trigger wager in the open sea, where you can handle anyone with brigantine and the right build set up. First of all, no matter if unlocked Africa zone or just do Red Isle starting zone, start your collecting coins route from the left side and end up on your route to be in the right side of St. Anne, the first den. If you do so and trigger the helm wager on one of the right side factories, you will always trigger wager destination into open sea. Being open sea is a huge advantage as solo player with all the proper consumables on you that will point out later in video. You have the speed and stamina to outrun anyone if you use brigantine. They can fast travel, try whatever, they do not know your final spot. So check always map who join and adjust easy in open sea. Another important thing when you are starting your coins collecting run, do not take no order quest or any supply quest for helm. If you take any helm quest, you will spawn extra rogues on your way. That will make you lose time for no reason. If you are just collecting coins, you will have at most spawn a weak rogue on your way that you easily get rid of. Do not attack anyone but the rogues or if you do other zones like Africa or India, might have to get rid of privateers. 
Yes, we have to be flower power on our route, as they made it so that any aggression we have, it will block the button to collect coins. If ask me, this is one stupid thing, they should just let the button work any time, as sometimes it makes accidental aggression or rogue spawn too far away. And we waste so much time considering we have so many factories to collect, no matter how careful I am. In 50 factories, it happens two or more times at least that I need to hide to remove a faction accidental aggression. Now to probably the most important factor till they balance this wager to not be so unfair with solo players, check and move servers before trigger wager. Preferably do the end run wager in your early mornings, or if you have a friend from another continent join his server if it is low populated at his mornings, Check to be few kingpins over 100,000 infamy. Usually, us over 100,000 infamy, we do have all the strongest weapons and armors. Lower kingpins are fine. You can just outrun them, slow down, and safely disembark. It is ridiculous to me how they think it is fine if one guy risks everything, and others can group up against him completely free with no risk but huge reward. They can also fast travel and respawn. If Ask Me should have made it so that anyone that joins have to pay a tax of coins, maybe percentual of what the wager guy is carrying, like a 10-20%. It is just ridiculous to me otherwise. How can anyone freely join and group up with no cost but only reward, at least if it was locked to one versus one, was again fine. But no. Multiple people can join free and ignore each other, just hit you. And also, if they are low health, they can leave at any time the event so you cannot attack them more, and they will join back when they are full health. It is just ridiculous, unfair, and a bad system currently, so you have to be ready for anything and lower your chances to be in bad situations. For that, do the wager in your best scenario server. Beside trying to get a favorable server with few high infamy kingpins, be ready with the best consumables possible. I will show next what I do use if some of them are not currently accessible to you in high amounts. Try to preserve them, keep just few of highest tier consumables for the wager double coins event, and use other lower tier consumables in any other content or PvE. You must bring your best stuff into it, as the daily wager double coins is the best source of pieces of eight. Use any 45% stamina region grilled food if do not have access to the 60% one. That one you get it by doing the sea monster quest. I always keep his food for the wager event. Use water barrel and enchantment repair one and two. Do not use Enchantment Repair 3. It is very bad with such a long cooldown 120 seconds. Enchantment 1 and 2 have lower cooldown and repair same as a repair kit 2 and 3. But if you do not have them, use Normal Repair 2 and 3. As for my Brigantine build, you can see it fully with Furniture used 2 in the start of video and constant on screen the weapons and armor as that was a capture from my stream on Twitch. I use rigged station furniture to heal back at low health and it couples well with Black Prince armor reduced damage taken when low health. I will post soon on my channel my full builds for Skull and Bones end game ships. No, Brigantine is not my favorite ship, but considering his speed, I see it the best in the current content. I like Padawa Kang more if would be to use Dardanelle Bombards, and even Sambuck with my fire build is more fun. But speed is everything now, so Brigantine wins. Now to the moment I choose to try Trigger Wager. A note here, you can try to trigger it even if the factory has only one coin. Redo collective coins multiple times till it triggers on your comfortable spot. Mine, it is like said during the video, I end my route on the right side, at the Garanda factory, as this will make it so that the final destination will be open sea. As soon as you start the wager, don't look back. Do not fight no NPC on the way. Spam the grilled food and water barrel for speed. You do want to be as fast as possible at the end spot. Every second wasted will increase the chance people will group up against you. Do not worry if one player joins. It is very easy if you did the Empire upgrade mentioned in the start of the video 
to reduce the timer needed to secure the chest. You will go into the green zone of the final destination outpost. Try to push out any player on the way, and in a couple of seconds the game automatically safely disembark you. On the way, keep check the map if more players joined and try maneuver to not have your way cut by any of them. If you get a player cut in your way, do not change your course. Keep advancing and shoot him on the move. You only need to reach that spot alive. There is no benefit in killing anyone. Use lower cooldown healing immediately when you get damaged half health. That repair kit has only a 40 seconds cooldown. He or they will not be able to shred you back in this time. That is why do this only in the open sea, where you can keep advancing, dodge, and heal back any damage in time. As fast you reach there, less time players have to join against you. I finished my run in four minutes since the wager start. There is no time for players to react if you are well prepared and good strategy. And again say, if you are carrying a lot of coins like in my case was doubling close to 18,000 collected coins, try before trigger wager be in a favorable server in mornings with few high level kingpins. Like said, if you are fast and well planned, players do not have time to react to the wager. This guy just fast traveled at the last moment. At this point, it does not even matter. He cannot do anything if have the Empire upgrade you will dock in a few seconds. I chose to fight him as I was sure I could kill him easy. But you should just try to slow him down and go as fast as possible in the green zone. Do not go out of it like I did at one point and the game will dock you safe fast with doubled coins reward. He had just a short time to heal, so I chose to dock. Can see the time for automatically dock when in green zone. It is very short if have the 10th Empire upgrade in the smuggler skills category that reduces the timer substantially. 10 seconds in the green zone and the game automatically safe disembark me with the doubled reward of my collected coins. Total 35,000 coins. Thank you for watching and for your support. I will post in the next few days on my channel some end game guides and my ship builds videos for end game. Meantime, we'll also stream daily on my Twitch channel if you want to check out, ask any questions about the game or just to say hello, will be much appreciated. Fair winds and following seas, pirates.